WIFO-FM Jessup, Big Dog Country, 105.5 FM. It is now time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO, brought to you by Vans Barbecue, First Southern Bank, Murphy Builder Supply, and O'Quinnan Associates, and Connection Coffee and Creamery. When it comes to barbecue, Vans Barbecue and Jessup is the place to be, a small family-owned business located at 1876 on the Savannah Highway. Vans Barbecue has lunch and dinner specials. Stop by or call to make an order. The number to call, 427-3358. Vans Barbecue's new manager is Sarah Van. Vans Barbecue offers potato salad, coleslaw, baked beans, and don't forget their delicious mac and cheese. Also, check out their shrimp plates, the best in town. Yes, when it comes to the barbecue, head to Vans Barbecue, locally owned and operated. Stop by and tell them the big dog sent you. Once again, the number to order, 427-3358. Hi, I'm Mandy Yeomans. And I'm Raymond Brown with First Southern Bank. As your locally owned community bank, we're here to help our community grow. Our customers are why we are here. You can tell we want your business. We offer all types of deposit products, personal and business. We have fast, efficient service, and yes, we have online banking too. I'm sure we have an account to fit your needs. Stop by or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Do you know why most people don't invest outside work or at all? Because they don't know where to start and they don't know who to talk with. If this is you, give me a call. Hi, this is Shauna Quinn. I can help set up a plan no matter where you are in life to get you on a suitable path to a sound financial future. Give me a call, Shauna Quinn, at 912-385-1000 or stop by the office at 212 South 1st Street right here in Jessup. That number again is 912-385-1000. Nothing brings people together quite like a great cup of coffee. At the Connection Coffee and Creamery, you will find a place where conversations begin and friendship never ends. Whether you're looking for a space to connect or a caffeine pick-me-up on your way to work, we've got just what you're looking for. From delicious handcrafted beverages to rich creamy ice cream or a filling breakfast and lunch items, we've got you covered. Short on time? Order through our Joe app or give us a call and we will have your items ready for pickup in our drive-thru. We are open Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 5 and Saturdays, 8 to 2. We are located at 254 West Cherry Street. We look forward to connecting with you. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO FM Jessa Big Dog Country Radio. And Bob, how you doing this morning? I'm good. You doing good? Good weekend. Uh, good weekend. Before we get started here, let me read this right here from Dr. Armstrong's office. Apparently today, today's boss's day. And it says, Happy Boss's Day to Dr. Armstrong. Love from your girls at Armstrong Family Dentistry. So happy Bosses Day to Dr. Armstrong. Love from your girls at Armstrong Family Dentistry. I didn't know the day was Bosses Day. But I when they, I saw this guy, I just read this right here. So I went and went to my search bar to see Bosses Day 2023. And it's today, October 16th. And so Dr. Armstrong, happy Bosses Day from your girls there in your office. All right, let's get to uh, to, uh, to Things we want to talk about today here, uh, your take from the weekend's uh, football. Let's go to Friday night and move forward, okay? Yeah, big win for Wayne County. Again, that was a tough quarterback, and he was hard to bring down. Had Wasn't he hard three, to bring four down? four people Jeez. dragging, you know, pulling him down. He still got the ball off several times. So, and the official didn't start the clock. That was almost cost us the ball game. That would have been a disaster. But Why didn't he after, start the – after Caught. Coach Shaw asked him, and know what his answer was? What? My bad, Coach. My bad. My bad. My bad. 
It you almost yeah. costs us the game. That's right. Yeah, my, I mean, that's a problem. Everybody's the, yelling the it. The sad thing is officials like that are costing teams games and region championships and things like that because they don't know what they're doing. I mean, how do you not start the clock? I mean, they have no time on left. You start the clock. I mean, that's pretty – Standard. It's not my something. Bad. It's not my like bad. a. Did they hold? Did they did create pass interference? That's a judgment yeah. call. But this is a black and white call right here. Yeah. And here's another great story of GHSA. You're gonna love this. Okay. I found out this over the weekend. In Appling County's region, Appling, Pierce, and Tombs are all tied. Okay. Pierce right. beat Tombs. The first tiebreaker is point differential, but they all each beat each other by a field goal, so they all beat each other by three points. Okay. You know what the next tiebreaker is? I have no idea, Bob. You know how they're going to decide the region championship? Let me know, Bob. Inform me. They're going to pull names out of a hat. One, <laughs> two, and three. <laughs> well, what else do you do? If everything's tied up, what else do you do, Bob? I think you need to do a Friday night live stick. You just go to a restaurant and flip a coin and all man out. You know, let's do that. Let's have all the coaches show up at one place and flip a coin. Remember that movie? If there's three, if there's three remember teams, Friday night? if they do, if there's three teams. How do you flip? You, do, you flip the coin, odd man out, then you flip again. Oh, you odd man out, yeah, odd and man then you out, flip again, and then you flip again. For, that's right, what they, that's well, a, I guess there's different ways of doing it. It's still just chance. But picking it out of a hat, come on. That's how you're going to decide a region championship. GHSA well, can flip come a coin, and pull out a hat. What's the difference? That's, that's sad. <laughs> about, but don't they have two play? more region games to go? Yeah, Fidelia is still unbeaten in that region, so they could still, you know. I mean, both of them have. Say, I mean, we have two more region games. I'm yeah, sure that they have two more region games. Those, each one those, of those three. Those three teams have played each other. The Pierce has played Appling. Appling's right. played, you know, two yeah, states. Right. Those, like I said, that, they're all with one loss, and they all beat each other by three points. So if it ends up at the end of the season, like it is now, they're going to. Well, they'll probably do the drawing live on Facebook or something like that. Uh, that way, all the coaches don't have to go to some place somewhere and stand there and say, heads, tails, whatever the case may be, and take all that time traveling and traveling back. I just can't so it's, it's still going. a chance, Bob, whether it's pulling out a hat pulling or whether it's flipping a coin. That's crazy. <laughs> I thought they were pulling my leg. What were, else can they do? I thought they were making If it everything's out. tied up, you, you do what you got to do, Bob. <laughs> Have the three coaches throw darts or have a have a, have a coin, you know, have a cornhole on this or something. Cornhole on this or a wrestling match yeah. on the mat, something, you know. Yeah, it's it's, it's got to be a better way than pulling names out of a hat. That's crazy. Oh boy! But BC won again, so they beat Southeast. So it's, it's, this Friday night game is going to be fun. Long oh yeah, Bay County BC uh, at eight, eight, JC eight, Stadium, six and two. So encourage everybody to come out Friday night. Support the Wayne County Yellows. That place should be fun. Again, Coach Shaw, after the ball game, uh, urged Wayne County fans to come out in full support. Oh, we need be that. Live. We need our right. home side with that, golden, black, right. black, and yellow. Yeah, we need that home field advantage. So, should be a fun ball game. And you can forward, fill up the stands and the end zone there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Super Regional this Wednesday. Again, the GHSA systems where the host. we got to play the first game. We were scheduled at three, but that game's been moved to one. So, Okay. Wayne County's going to play at 1 o'clock. And we win, we play at 5. Right. The winners play at 5 and the losers play at 7. So, Well, losers play at the nightcap. Yeah, and that seems strange because that's a long trip for those two teams. Somebody's going home that night in that loser's bracket. So, I said, there's four what teams coming. What it is coming. is what it is, Bob. Yeah, I don't make the rules. I just report it. You just report it. We don't make it up, folks. Yeah. We just report it. It makes no sense to have the two losers play at 7 and not 5. You don't have the loser being able to get out of there and go home. But it is what it is, as they say. It is what it is. So, Wayne County Super Regional Hosting will play at 1 o'clock against Spalding. Number one team, Wayne County, against his number four, Spalding, at 1 o'clock at Barber Struck Off Field. Right. And you can't buy tickets. you got to go to that blasted website right. and go pay them a buck to be able to get, you know, to, right. to go into the game. It's amazing. All those dollars spent by all these teams throughout the state goes to line the pockets of that, that Go Fan up there just north of Atlanta. Uh, crazy. Man, crazy. Jacksonville won. That was great for them. Jaguars look good. The Jaguars Gardner, look good. Gardner Falcons Minshew. didn't look good. Gardner anything Minshew else? Let's go time. back to Friday night because I said we'd do that. You know, Friday night, anything else from Friday night? No. Not, nothing else? Much. That's, no, okay. Yeah. And then then the Saturday, Georgia does what they need to do and it yeah. wins on Saturday. Saturday, the former Georgia defensive coach, Dan Lanning, gets the dumb dunce award for not punting the ball late in the ball game. He had he had Washington beat. All he has got to do is punt the ball. He's at midfield. He goes uh -huh. for it on fourth and three and gives Washington's star quarterback you the ball at midfield. The ball. 
you the ball games one. Punt the ball, make it go the distance. Don't get the ball. You don't I get mean, it. It's not, it's almost it's not it's fourth and one. It's not fourth and eight. It's fourth, fourth and three. Three. What are you doing? Punt the ball. Plus, he had the chance to kick two field goals early in the game. He would also. I mean, they just blew that game. Kirby needs to call Dan Lenning and say, what are you doing? <laughs> I taught you better than that. What are you doing? Well, they just think they're high-powered offenses out there at Oregon and Washington. And, you know, they, they, they were, it was funny watching uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the games on Saturday. They said that it, it was amazing that in the first two possessions by Oregon and Washington, they had to punt. You know, the punter is the loneliest person on the field out there when, you know, Washington's playing or Oregon's playing because they just fly up and down the field. And the debate's over. The most overrated coach in America is Jimbo Fisher. Loses again. Three losses. When are they going to fire him? Get rid of him. Well, yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah, just take donations, buy him out, get him out of there. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so glad. I mean, he's got so much support there at Texas A&M. I mean, just so much. You know, so much money pouring. So much money pouring in. Big fan base there. You know, I mean, you can't ask for any better than that, and Mm -hmm. he just still can't win. They need to go back to SEC media days when he said, "This is the best team I've ever had." They've got a great chance to win a national championship, and they've already lost three games. What an idiot. Fire him. Get mm-hmm. rid of him. Okay. Florida yeah. got a big win, though, down in South Carolina. Yeah, they mean, did. Coach Napier has been struggling on the road, but they picked up a big win, but that was that was a strange end in that ball game. I mean, I don't know why. I didn't see anything. South Carolina had that game won, and they just threw it away. So, threw it away. Huh? Crazy. Say, we don't want it. You take some, it. Some of these coaches just wonder what they're thinking. Just well, we don't. always say that. They out, sometimes they out coach themselves. It's just crazy. They look at that. They, they look at that. Uh, uh, you know, play call sheet they have there, and they let the, basically the the computer makes the decision. Well, here on this play, this kind of thing, yeah, we're going to take this play, no matter how much common sense it has or doesn't have. When you're up by four. Uh-huh. With two minutes to go, right. and they got no timeouts left. The ball was at the midfield, right. and it's fourth and three. You punt the freaking ball. ball. You punt the ball. Everybody knows that. Everybody mm-hmm. watching the game. The announcers go, what is he doing? And then two, you know how long it took Washington to get in the touchdown? Two plays. Boom, 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 boom. There they are. And, I mean, Oregon was able to drive down for the tying field goal, but he missed the field missed goal. It. So yeah, missed lost. it. Yeah. But I was watching that game going, what is he doing? Dan Landing, you know better than that. Kirby taught you better than that. I guarantee they got a phone call this weekend. Kirby called him. You think so? I know so. <laughs> so you're, you're embarrassing us. You're a former Georgia coach. You know better than that. Punt uh, the freaking ball. Uh, yeah. But that was crazy. Sundays was crazy. I mean, Philadelphia lost. San Francisco How lost. Did they, look? they didn't lose 40, 40, good teams. That's four, the thing about it is. Four, poor 49ers. They lost their best two players. So McCaffrey got hurt. Debo got hurt. And they also lost one of their best linemen. So. They just had a bunch of injuries in that ball game, but uh, Philadelphia losing to the Jets. They lost. Yeah, how, how does I mean? It's not like they, you know, it's not like they lost to Kansas. You know, if you lose to Kansas City, you lose to Buffalo, something like that, or Miami. They lost to two teams that weren't that good. You never can tell. It's any given Sunday. You don't know who's going to be who. That's you true. know, you really don't. No. You have no idea. Anybody can win anytime they go out there. So. That's why people like it. So, be interested. Jet fans are excited. So, yeah, they should be. Yeah, I mean, they, you defeated Philadelphia. Because Aaron, you know? Aaron Rodgers Jeez. keeps saying he's coming back before the season's over. So, they get in the playoffs. Here comes Aaron Rodgers. That'll be fun. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. It was a crazy weekend. But it was a good weekend. Dogs won. Wayne County won. So, it's all good. Yep. Steelers didn't play. So, they had Steelers the weekend didn't play. off. Yeah. Jags won. And um, the Falcons should have won. They just that interception in the ball game was not good. So yeah. can't lose to the Washington Commanders. That was, no, you that was can't. A, especially at home. At home, that's a bad loss. Yeah, I mean, jeez, bad loss. You don't know what goes to these coaches and players' minds out there. But like, it's like uh, Terry Bradshaw. You know, any given Sunday. I mean, these are all professional football players. They're all good, or they wouldn't be there. It's just a matter of who matches up with who, who's got the injuries, and how the ball bounces sometimes on Sundays. It's unpredictable, that's for sure. It definitely is. But uh, great football over the weekend. Got Wayne County High School softball coming this way as the Yellow Jacket Lady Jackets host the Super Regionals. And uh, we look forward to having that here and all those teams coming into town. 
And if you can't make it to the games, we'll have them for you right here on 105.5 FM. And we'll stream the games live down our website at BigDogCountry.com. BigDogCountry.com. Just click on live stream and um, there we'll be. So, yeah, the games will be right there. I don't have social media, so somebody from the Exchange Club can text us in and tell us who won the mom prom. I understand that was a big event Saturday night at the Country Club, but I haven't heard who won. No, we didn't get any uh, updates from on the mom prom, so we have no idea I wasn't who was to able to raise enough money, how the event went, or anything about the mom prom. It would be good to know who was able to raise the most money. I was watching Notre Dame beat the – Daylights out of USC, so I enjoyed that Saturday night. Was that something or what? I mean, you no, thought that would be a closer game, but Notre mm-hmm. Dame just put a whipping on USC. Maybe he won't win the Heisman again. They made him look human. Well, he's so, okay. Yeah, he's in the running for Heisman back to back. You know, he's trying to be the first one to win back to back Heisman trophy since Archie Griffin back in the well, days. What does he want? Day. I mean, well, they, like I said, they got beat that way. And they're probably going to lose a couple more games. They got to play Oregon. They got to play Washington still. So USC's got a tough schedule. So, but Notre Dame handled them pretty easily in South Bend. But that was a big win for Notre Dame. Yeah. Matter of fact, we just had a text message from somebody who won the mom prom. Don't know. They didn't inform us. All right. Yeah, we were glad to, to report it, but we didn't get any text messages, email, smoke signals, or e- <laughs> smoke nothing. <laughs> we we got nothing. <laughs> All, right. All right, we can't keep up with everything, so we do try to encourage folks if they have something going on or an event that just happened or coming up. You know, just get in contact with us. It's easy to do. Uh, somebody wants to know about about Brock Bowers' in, in, uh, injury. Do you know anything? An, they say it's an ankle. You know, not but he has two weeks serious. to recover. He's got two weeks to get ready for Florida. So I mean, you know, like Kirby is he's keeping it close to the vest. But right. All they said was it's an, it's an ankle injury. So ankle injury. Don't day, know how bad it is. Day to day. Day to day. Day to day. We won't know until game we're, time. We're all day to day. <laughs> <laughs> we're all day to day, aren't we, Bob? <laughs> I love how they say it. it's day to day. I said we're all day to day. That's the way it goes. Uh, but hopefully he'll be back. For all the right, we game. got we got a, a text message in here. Appreciate it very much from this person at the last two digits eight nine. And uh, Ashley Green won the mom prom. So congratulations to Ashley Green. Raised the most money there uh, for the Exchange Club, which helps the youth here. And it helps the youth in all kinds of ways. All the kids, I mean, they do a, a good job of, of, uh, of um, you know, of uh, supporting youth projects, supporting kids individually, groups, things of that sort. But congratulations to a- Ashley Green. Ashley Green was uh, the mom prom. Holly Lane was first runner-up. So congratulations to this. You know, we we got, we got messages coming here left and right now. I, said, I, know, I, I knew all I had to do is ask. This is Ashley Green was the uh, uh, mom prom. First runner-up was Holly Lane. Second runner-up was uh, Felinda Johnson. Third runner-up was Michelle Keith. Yeah, thank so you. thank you so much to all those folks right there for uh, letting us know so we could pass it along here because we were getting – Text messages and folks want to know who won the mom prom. So congratulations to them. All right. A great fundraiser by the Exchange Club. First annual mom prom. I'm sure the ladies had a good time, and a good time was had by all. I heard it was a good crowd. So good crowd? Good, you know, good. I heard they had good crowds at the rodeo over the weekend, so there's just a lot going on. Yeah, the rodeo over the weekend. You had uh, Popple Farms with all their stuff going on. Um, uh, we had the golf tournament. That was a lot of fun. Tournament. Enjoyed that. So. Yeah. And uh, coming up uh, beginning this Saturday is the uh, Wayne County Board of Tourism's Big Buck Contest. You need to go ahead and contact the Wayne County Board of Tourism this week, you hunters, and get registered for the Big Buck Contest. You can win lots of money. And, and film and, festivals this weekend. And then the, uh, the uh, Jessup. First annual Je- uh, Jessup Film Festival will be coming up this weekend here in Jessup in Wayne County. And we've got uh, Ralph Hickox from the Strand Theater and the Jessup Drive-In that will be on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show tomorrow morning to talk about the annual Jessup Film Festival. Ought to be a great time. Looking forward to that zombie beauty contest, Bob. <laughs> I ain't never heard of one of them before. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they have all kinds of stuff. It's a film festival, first annual Jessup yeah. Film Festival going on. And uh, just, uh, just you know, lots going on, Bob. Uh, you know, Popple Farms got uh, two more weekends of the late Friday afternoon, Friday nights, all day Saturday and Sunday afternoons. Popple Farm, Farmtastic Days going on for two more weekends. And so if you're looking for something to do, it's out there here in Jessup and Wayne County. And uh, let's see here. What's going on with Kelsey's and Swift's uh, romance? Anything? They were they were seen walking hand in hand, and made a made a surprise uh, cameos on Saturday Night Live. Saturday night. Travis did. I no, mean, no, she did too. Just very quick. Both of them very quick. I didn't see her. I yeah, she her, hers was just. I mean, her. You thought his was quick. Hers was just like you know three or four words, and that was it. I didn't see her. Yeah. So, they, they were they seen, did a, they did a spoof on Fox Sports with Terry oh. Bradshaw and, and Howie Long and all that. That was the opening bit where they talked about how they're not talking football; they're talking about Taylor Swift. The whole time. Taylor yeah. Swift. And then they finally said at the end, "Can somebody finally talk football?" And they had Travis Kelsey say, "Here I am." <laughs> but, but I didn't see Taylor Swift on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, it was. I understand it was a very quick thing. Very quick, just very quick. But uh, they made surprising. Uh, the best spoof was Kenan Thompson doing his Deion Sanders imitation. I didn't. I didn't. I, well, that, I'm not that. I'm not that, up that late. That was, that was hysterical. Yeah. I can probably find it on YouTube. That was a, that was a good imitation that Keenan did on Colorado. <laughs> yeah, talking about we're the best team. You know, who's undefeated besides us? Who, who has who has a better record than us? And Colin Joe's went down the list. Georgia. <laughs> They named everything that was better than Colorado. Was, yeah, was they, they they blew it this last weekend. Yeah, they, they just a, blew they, it. They had a twenty nine nothing lead in the third they quarter. They did. And just, just blew it. Beaten overtime by Stanford. So. Yeah, uh, uh, Dion talking about you know he told his team after the game you know I love this game. I don't like it. I love it. You guys are gonna have to learn to love it, just not like it if you gonna if you want to continue to win. So uh, they just uh, just fell back on their hind heels there and. Lost, but they had a twenty-nine to nothing lead. I'm telling you, when the Cowboys don't win the Super Bowl this year and don't make the playoffs, Jerry Jones is going to make that call. And you Dion, think Dion's that good? I don't think he's that good, but I think Jerry Jones is in love with him. Oh, no, he he likes stars. I mean, he just, Jerry Jones yeah. likes stars. He Dion, likes star power on Dion his team. Can sell tickets. No matter how good they are, for the stadium, create a lot of excitement. So. That's that's what I think is going to happen. I think that's what Dion's looking for. What if you can't prove yourself First there? The Cowboys. First, you know he's done. Their team's done a lot better than anybody thought. I mean, he took a bunch of players from all over the nation, put them together there, try to make a team out of them. And they're still trying to find their way. The question is, can they make a bowl game? You know, that's something. Well, they got to you know, almost if, if win. He, we got to win. You know, the rest of their games and minus one us one. Needs three more wins to get to. Bowl eligible. So yeah. If he gets in bowl eligible, that would be a remarkable season for them. But losing that lead was that one good. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to lose a twenty. I mean, twenty. It's twenty nine nothing in the third quarter. How do you blow it? They blew it. Yeah, we've seen Went that happen time. time and time again through the years. You know, a team gets yeah. a big lead and they just think they got it and they ease off a little bit and the other team's a little hungry and comes back and wins the doggone thing. Cowboys play tonight. Play the Chargers. Play the football. Chargers. Well, they, Baseball playoffs got underway yesterday. Houston and Texas are battling out. Texas, Texas wins won again. Two zero, and then tonight Philadelphia and Arizona start Game One. So, and the World Series will be here for you. Know a lot going on in October. NBA basketball is about to crank up. So you got about to start up, football, huh? NFL. Tall football. guys are fixing to start playing. Huh? Yeah, they're playing exhibition games. That was a big story too. It's Friday night. Apparently, ESPN had the. Uh, Buford Mill Creek football game, and it with about under a minute to go, they cut it off and went to NBA preseason basketball. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's going, "What? <laughs> Who made that decision?" 
and there was there was a tie game or they were going for the tie. I you mean, don't you know, ever go away from a game. I you seem like brought you know you know that. Was, you don't was, ever go away from one. They they you can go really. late in the one, but you don't ever pull out from one. It was fun. Unless they're just getting blown out. I talked to a guy at the golf course there and he thought he fell asleep and missed it. <laughs> and they told him they said no, they cut away. He said, I knew something was wrong. <laughs> I didn't think I fell asleep that long. Oh yeah. Lord. But they said that was a heck of a ball game. Mill Creek beat Buford. Oh, so, they did? Yeah. Wow. The University wow. of Buford got beat. Yeah. Man. Wow. Sheesh. Can't wait till Friday. Friday's going to be fun. Yeah. Now, you've got a uh, uh, a meeting. Is it tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. City Council. Jessup meeting. City Council. That yeah. ought to be a show. Man, ought a, to be a lot of fun tomorrow night. There's a lot on the agenda. <laughs> Lots on the agenda. A lot of interesting topics. That sports agreement is the big thing, so hopefully the city will sign off. Well, I That's thought they the agreed county. on it. Everybody would split yeah, it percentage-wise. Yeah. The cities was, was with their percentage, and they, the county, I thought they agreed on all that. They did, but apparently they still got a vote, and there's rumblings that they're not. Why? Uh, they all agreed on it. I don't know. Like I told you, sell peanuts and popcorn and make money. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they all agree on it. It made the most sense. You know, Everybody gets their percentage. I mean, that's that's should be a formality. Should just be a formality. The word is it's not going to be a formality, so we'll find out tomorrow night. Yeah. We'll watch it all. Oh, boy. Have a full report Wednesday. All right. But I think it's going to be a long meeting. be a long meeting, huh? Well, make some good press right there, Bob. <laughs> Another executive session. So we should be there a while. All right, Bob, we're about out of time. Anything else on your mind this morning? All right. Just right. get everybody get ready for the Super Regional on Wednesday and football on Friday. Okay, have a good day. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup has been brought to you by Vans Barbecue, First Southern Bank, Murphy Builder Supply, O'Quinn Associates, and by Connection Coffee and Creamery.